Greetings everyone. Once again, this is the servant of Jesus Christ. Robert Dunlap coming unto you one more time to give you good understanding. <clears throat> good understanding. On the word of God, the will of God. Let's just get right to it. <clears throat> We're the, this is November 4. November 4. The presidential election just, just about over. And it's your prerogative to vote if you choose to vote. That's your prerogative. No, it, it, no, no Bible. It, it ain't, don't no Bible say don't vote. No Bible say don't vote. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I'm sure we all know by now. Joe Biden, Donald Trump. We all know by now. Joe Biden is on his way to becoming the president of the United States. All right? He's on his way. The other fella, Trump, what can we say? Mm, mm, mm. Nevertheless, a lot of you saints ignorantly, now let me say this, God care about you. He, he care about you. He care about your well-being. All right? But saints, Christian, God is not the one that put nobody in office down here. God ain't put nobody in office. God is not choosing not one president. For if God, God bless all you serving the Lord. <laughs> For if God chose a president, there'll be no need for you to vote. If God, to, when, when God choose a man, your vote don't mean nothing. It's going to be just like God said. When God choose a man, well, the era of God choosing kings, President King, same thing. That era is over. He told, uh, he told David, he told Solomon, he told, well, y'all told Saul. <laughs> Because y'all wanted a king to rule over y'all as other nations. <clears throat> the kings down here on this earth are kings just like other nations. Watch this. <clears throat> Jesus told somebody, my kingdom is not of this world. My kingdom is not of this world. Jesus, the kingdom ain't of this world. You're not in Jesus' kingdom, and you will not be in Jesus' kingdom until you're born again of water and spirit. Jesus' kingdom ain't down here. Well, God allowed uh, whoever get it off it. God ain't got nothing to do with that. You do. You live down here. God ain't got nothing to do with that. Well, if my people would not call by my name, 
That don't apply. Let me get technical. Number one, the land being healed is not talking about USA. The land being healed, that's not talking about United States. They were talking about the land of East, the land of, 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 of uh, the promised land. Canaan, Jerusalem. That was probably said in my people. Okay. Wait a minute, I just thought so. Wait, I thought I just thought so. Which that area is over. Because his people now are the ones that born of water and spirit. His people are in heavenly places. His people is in the tabernacle not made by man's hand. His people. And I saw a few prayers on Facebook. You ignorant, you didn't know, you didn't know. And there's not no put down, but you need to. Let me give them, and I photoshopped them. Well, okay, do I have the right? I put them on the right phone. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Let me start with this one. This says, Dear Lord, dear Lord, well, the Lord don't hear that prayer. Dear Lord, I place before you. Wait a minute. I place before you the elections taking place in our nation and I'm going to ask you to intervene on behalf of your people who is your people you play oh, come, come on let's let keep reading I ask you to disarm evil and to silence the voice of deception. Well, you might well not vote then. <laughs> hit, hit for, silence the voice of deception. Here's the first thing you do. Go to your church and pull that deceptive devil out of that pulpit. Start with your church. Get them fall properly out of your church. I ask you to move hearts and minds, even though, now here's the thing, even those who do not know, watch this, watch this, to vote according to your precepts. I had, I had two more letters. Even those that who do not know to vote according to your precepts? How, how do you vote according to God's precepts? How you, where they do that at? How you vote according to God's precepts? How you do that? You certainly ain't voted in no election. God precepts? Oh, I know what you mean. I know. Well, God is against abortion. God is against homosexuality. The, those are preachers every time I write. Well, the Bible says all are right in the sin. You ain't voting in no election down here according to God's precepts. None. Zero. 
Zero. None. You ain't, if you vote with Trump, it ain't according to your, pre, to your precept. If you vote with Biden, it ain't according to your precept. If you vote for your pastor, it ain't according to his precepts. Vote according to God's precepts? Praise the Lord. Those that don't know how to vote according to God precept. Well, you the, you need to you need to tab your voter registration card. In order to vote for God precepts, you have to take this Bible, take this book here, in the first of all the business, it repent. The first all the business is repent. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart. Turn from your sin. All of it. Well, two men, mad men, men on men, women on women, uh, homosexual, abortion. Okay. Where the other sin at? What about lying? What about fornicating? What about stealing? What about lying in the pool and saying, God said, so a seed for a milk. What about telling a lie and say, God still requires your tithes and offering? How about getting that false prophet out of your church? You ain't vote, talking about vote God precept. You ain't vote nowhere it, on this earth for God precept voting in the election. Forget it. You ain't doing it. You ain't doing it. Well, if you vote for Democrat, you vote for abortion and homosexual. All right. All right. Yeah, murder by tongue, backstab. You vote for Democrat, you vote for abortion and, and uh, uh, homosexual marriage. What do you vote for? You vote for a Republican. I wait. It was a woman got killed in Charlotte, Carolina. And your so called God fearing president said it was good people on both sides. And a woman got killed. If you're going to vote for God, preacher, you're going to say it ain't, it ain't right. All unrighteous sin. If you're going to vote for God precept and God laws, you ain't going to vote at all. Because nobody in government is keeping God's laws. I said nobody. Uh-huh. But the first order of business, straight up that mess in your church. The votes are passed out. Vote him out. And you know what? I've been knowing a lot of pastors being quiet lately, too. <laughs> Honey, God, there ain't no election. Look, remember when they wanted a king to rule them like other the other nations? Every king down here on earth is the king that they were talking about. They wanted a king and a president to rule over them like the other nations that caused them to serve other gods. No, no. I'm getting ready to say something heavy. I'm going to say something heavy. Nowhere in the scripture where God ever told his people to vote in the election on his earth. 
It's nowhere in the scripture. But see what happened? Y'all try to mix politics with scripture. You can't mix politics with scripture. They don't go together. Don't you know somebody voted for Adolf Hitler? Dr. Spencer, I see you. God bless you. Uh, C.T. Culbert, I see you. Hallelujah. God have nothing to do with the politics down here. Nothing. You can't put God in it. Stop it. Somebody told me you go, well, you need to, you need to. And they were back in the 90s. Where well, you need to vote. Vote in, a, in, in, vote in the election for the thing that God uh, approved of. And back then, it was Bush, Bush 2, and Clinton, I believe. And, I, and we were sitting in the dining room. I'm not going to call her name. Great woman of God. I'm not going to call her name. And we were sitting in the dining room at church. Well, you know, need to uh, need to vote the the, vote the, the the thing that please God and and the and the Democrat they for abortion and homosexuality. I said, wait, you said vote for things that please God. Wait a minute, what the Republicans doing that please God? And stop and stop that missionary mouth. Well, well, well. Uh, well, in that case, ain't none of them righteous. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Praise God. <coughs> now, you can't mix the politics. Let me get another prayer. Let me get another prayer while I'm at it. And I, I photoshopped it. Get another prayer. God ain't putting nobody in office. Y'all put them in office. I'm putting them in office. <laughs> God ain't putting nobody in office. Here's another prayer. It says, watch it. I'm asking help. Uh, well, I'm asking for help in a united prayer in fact, that God take control over this election. He ain't doing it. God ain't doing that. And, and governs all over they get elected. They put their hand on the Bible and lie. Just like your pastor do. And governs whoever elected U.S. leader. That's the U.S., not God leader. But U.S., not, not God leader, but U.S.A. leader. My God, I feel like howling now. Uh, uh, in, 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 in the Old Testament, in, 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 God said, I'll give you pastors after my own heart. Ain't no lead, ain't no political leader after God's heart. I said none. This elected and governs whoever elected you and God ain't got nothing to do with that. Let me get another one. And here's the main one that they've been circulating around. Law, we need you. Please sweep. <laughs> Please sweep through this nation. 
where he already swept through his nation. When he died on the cross. And he was lifted up on the cross. And when his blood was shed for remission of sin. And when God raised him from the dead. And when he told us to go and preach repentance and remission of sin, that's him sweeping through the nation. But y'all ain't paying him no titan. How can they hear without the preacher? That's him sweeping through the nation. But y'all ain't paying him no titan. Oh, all right. Heal this land. He ain't going to do it. He ain't going to do it. He ain't going to heal this land. You go back to Chronicles 7, 14. That one talking about no USA. That one talking about Jerusalem. Where the temple was. Renew our minds. Re Lord, renew our... Your mind ain't renewed. You don't want God to renew your mind. You just talking. The Bible says, be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is a good and acceptable and perfect will of God. But you say ain't nobody perfect. Your mind ain't renewed. Get out of here. This nation and every nation going to be judged. And USA and every, and every other, this whole land uh, going to be destroyed. And the ones that's in this nation and every, every other nation that did God's will going to be saved. The rest going to hell. Cast out any thing that's not like you. Start casting out the church. Then we start casting out. Can cast them, cast that preacher out of that pool pit. Then we start at your church. The congregating of the righteous. In Jesus' name, we pray, amen. Pray for our country, amen. We preach the gospel. That, that what Jesus told us to do, go into all the world and preach the gospel. He that believe in him, baptized shall be saved. He that believe not shall be damned. That what we do, we preach the gospel to every creature. Let me see if I got another. Okay. 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 So I pulled them prayers off of faith. But saints, you can't mix God with the election. You can't do that. God is not in that. God have nothing to do with that. Now he told us to pray for rulers, kings, and men everywhere. Now watch it. A lot of y'all give to a prayer for United States, but y'all don't pray for nobody else. Y'all y'all don't pray for Africa and China and Afghanistan. I heard I heard one preacher, and he may be watching. <laughs> he got one son boy, he prayed to pray, prayed to prayer. He said, Law, bless United States. Law. Bless Bin Laden. Bless Afghanistan. God got people. God got people all over. Like all the USA. You say pray for men everywhere. Everywhere. That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life. And it says something else that many don't deal with. So let me go and deal with that now. Now what is that? 
What is it? Is that 13? Is that Roman 13? And, and see, that third, she might give me some glass. <clears throat> And it, in Romans 13, read that whole 13th chapter. <clears throat> and, and, and you will see that, that they're talking about the police. <laughs> read the whole 13th chapter. But I want the one that says, where is that at? Is that, where is that? Timothy or Titus or what? Pray for me and everywhere. Pray for kings and first of all, supplications be made for me and everyone. Where, where, where that verse at? Where that verse at? <clears throat> Let's get that. I'm, I'm going to show you something. Well, that's not for living what I want. First of all, supplications and prayer be made to God for me and everywhere. All right. First Timothy 2 1. First Timothy 2 1. First Peter 2 1. That Peter Tim, Frank Timmy too. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I want to show you something. <clears throat> I thought you in Timmy two one. Frank Timmy two one. I thought you that that first of all supplications and prayers, intercessions, and giving the thanks. Be made for all men. Did it say some men? It said all men. It even said intercession. Mm -hmm. For kings and for all that are in authority. That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. So we'll be at peace down here. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. Now it's another verse that you don't hear talk. The very next verse. Verse 4. Who will have all men to be saved? Who will have all men to be saved? And come to the knowledge of the truth. That's the prayer. That all men come to the be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. How they will get the knowledge of the truth? We got to teach them. Yeah. Verse 5. Here's the knowledge of the truth. But there is one God and one meeting between God and men. And the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all. He didn't say for some, he said for all. To be testified in due time. Where to I am ordained to preach in my job, God knows. In all preachers and ministers, men and women's job, to give the truth. We pray that they come to the knowledge of the truth and we give them the truth. 
But you can't put God in the election. Ain't no righteous in the election. Ain't no righteous in the president's office, in the governor office, in the mayor office. Ain't no righteous in that. But we pray for all men that they all come to the knowledge of the truth. That we may live in quiet and peaceable life. They got to hear the truth. They got to hear the truth. And we get... Paula White, Paula White ain't giving nobody no truth. Them, them ninjas, TV preachers ain't giving nobody no truth. Mm -hmm. On neither, that right, on either side. And that's another thing. If you're going to tell the truth, you got to tell the truth. You can't call out Republican sin and don't call out Democrat sin. Sin is a reproach to any people, God said. Any people, any people, any people. You can't put God in this election, people. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and some good thing come out of politics. You, you that get Social Security, do you not know that came from politics? You that work overtime and get overtime pay, time and a half, triple time on, on holidays and double time on Sundays and weekends, do you not know that came from politics? You you that you that live wherever you want to live. Do you not know that came from politics? Oh, it's a good thing coming out of politics. But you can't but you can't uh mix God in and say it's righteous. Now one word did say the king's heart is in the Lord's hand. And God knows how to turn the king's heart. And the president and man governor too. He know how to turn their heart. Now in the Bible when it speaks about kings, then we're talking about over oh, God's people. <clears throat> and God ain't voting for nobody. What God's who who God say gonna be king? Well, he ain't saying that no more because Christ is king. No more kings over God's people. No more. It's over. Christ fired all of them. But who, 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 who? But you live right. Remember in Egypt, not a lot of y'all don't know this. In Egypt, in Egypt, when they were in bondage, they wanted the Hebrew women to kill every male child. They want the Hebrew women, <coughs> excuse me, to kill every male child. You know what the Hebrew women told them? We don't do that. We Hebrew, we don't do that. A lot of y'all, the y'all, I, I, I guess I better get that. Let, let me, let me, let me get off YouTube. I don't want this to crap. You can't put God in no election. God kingdom, Jesus kingdom, God kingdom is not of this world at all. So, so stop trying to put Jesus in it. He ain't in it. His father God ain't in it. Praise God. All right. God bless you too.